Hey guys, it's Darcy and I want to welcome you back to another video. So I was recently sent some Royal Art Supplies acrylic paints from an Amazon seller to test out and review for you guys. Um, my first impression when using these paints was that they were good quality and very smooth. So there were no clumps and therefore it was very workable and able to blend very well. The colors are very vibrant and I really enjoyed using them and there were 18 colors in total. Um, they dry very fast so you know that can be a good thing or a bad thing but acrylic paint typically dries pretty fast. Um, they are very affordable, uh, only $15, and I will leave a link beneath this video so that you can click on it and go buy them yourself, which I would encourage you to do if you are looking for a new acrylic uh, paint set to try. So of course I had to test them out for you, and the first idea that came to my mind was to paint Wonder Woman because of the movie that just came out, which I haven't seen, but I definitely will plan on going to see. Um, so I decided to draw her. I did a little bit of sketching beforehand to plan the drawing, I mean the painting, and then I just went with it from there. I messed up a bit on this. You will see that I kind of start over again, like I paint over what I have here a little bit and then try to repaint it to where to get it to where I actually am satisfied with it. So fortunately, whenever the paints dry, it is pretty easy to paint over and fix mistakes that you might have made. And here is where I started to paint over it. I just didn't like how the proportions looked and the hair was something was off with the hair. It was too um it was too big for her head or something. Maybe I just made her head too small. I know I made the eye too small. So it was kind of frustrating, but you know, if I wanted it to be good, then I had to restart the face and the hair and the body. <laughs> so, but the second time I liked it a lot better, made the eye bigger, made the hair have a little bit more body and depth to it instead of just being this big black blob on her head. And I must say, I'm very proud of that eyebrow. It looks pretty bomb, and I wish my eyebrows looked like that. So here's a little coloring tip. If you'll notice, I have her hair on the right side a very light blue color and then I painted it over in black, but I still left little edges of light blue. When you are painting a dark color on, on a dark color, you need to have some sort of difference between the two colors so that whatever you're painting on the dark background will still stand out. So sometimes in my drawings I use a white gel pen over the edges of the foreground, um, what, whatever is in the foreground. On this painting, as you saw, I had the light blue down first and then I painted black over it. And I also eventually added some white on there, some red, just a few more colors to be able to show the difference more clearly between the dark hair and the dark background. It just makes your foreground stand out a lot better. I made the background a little bit more interesting with all these different colored lines and even put some stars back there. And um, there's my reference picture. Um, the headdress that she is wearing, I didn't make it look exactly like it looks in real life, but it's more of a cartoon version. Um, I mean, she starts out as a cartoon anyway. So it's a cartoon crossed over with the recent version of her that came out with the movie. I'm just putting a bit of varnish over it so that the paint won't reflect the light as much. I, I'm sure you noticed that in the video. It reflects the light quite a bit, but the varnish helped actually. It left a few cracks on the right side of the painting, 
but it still did what I wanted it to do and the cracks aren't that noticeable. So I hope you liked this drawing and this review. Please give this video a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. If you go see the movie, let me know and I hope to see it soon as well. I'll be back with another video next week guys. Thank you so much for watching.